Hey y'all, it's David Ducker coming back at you. And today we're going to be talking about Gaiden games. Uh, what is a Gaiden game, you might be asking. A Gaiden game is one that takes place in your setting at the same time as your story, but with different characters and possibly in a different geographical location. Uh, we've used this tr to tremendous effect in God of Damera. And it's a technique I haven't seen very often, and I, I want to share it with you. So let me, uh, now that I've explained it in basics, let's go through and talk about how we used it, give you some examples to work with. So our main campaign uh, takes place, let's say, in the middle of the country. And there's a horde of undead coming up from and down from the north, and a swarm of orcs coming up from the south, let's say. So your main heroes are very far away geographically from either of those, but you're preparing, you're gathering allies, you're studying, uh, you know, whatever you're doing, you're crafting magic items, perhaps. You're training the villagers uh, to use the pointy end of their spears. So we'll do that with the main characters, and at a certain time when it's opportune, we'll say, okay, let's set the, all those characters to the side. Now we're going to be playing characters who are up north. And we're going to experience firsthand the vampire counts coming down south and their reign of destruction. We'll get to see these big bad NPCs firsthand. Uh, and that's what that's our campaigns got at Amron. That's what we did. We went up to Waldenhof and Leichberg and we ran a, a two shot in each of those cities as they're under siege. So the local noble houses, now we, we get to play one of them. All our players got to play a, a member of this house, House Harm in Leichberg and House uh, Kampf in Waldenhof. And so you get to meet the whole house, and you get to meet your enemy. And you get to play through this siege, you know, this uh, combat encounter. Uh, and, you know, we had a little dungeon crawl. We had some big combat. We had some running gun and uh, really fun encounters. But because these are temporary PCs, uh, they are going to die. You know, some, or some of them are going to die. And the players can be okay with that. You know, Charles' character went down in a blaze of glory, uh, which means that character is not one his main character is going to meet because he's dead. You know, and, and the survivors, when they head south, Charles' uh, NPC there, he's not going to be among them because he's dead. Uh, whereas, you know, Scotty's character survived, so he's going to come into the main game as an NPC. And he, maybe he can meet Scotty's uh, main character, right? So this is a way of expositing on the world, the story, you know, the people, whether they're friends or enemies, uh, expositing on things the player characters might not know, but that you want the uh, players themselves to know. Uh, and for me, it also helps make decisions. Decisions about who's going to live, who's going to die. What are the troop counts after these battles? Um, how angry are the vampire counts? Did some of them die? Uh, now they're really desperate. Or, or did they steamroll the opposition and maybe they're a little arrogant? So as a GM, um, by having these one-shots, these Gaiden games, we've, we've helped me write the story to explore the sandbox. The players know more. They know those houses. They know the enemies. They know what happened. And uh, as a GM, I didn't have to write it single-handedly. I had six other writers, my players, at the table helping me. Right, so that's a game game. And now one important thing to mention is you probably want to run these just as the main player characters are going to be able to learn about it. Because you don't want to force them to metagame and pretend they don't know things they do uh, for too long. Some players can handle it. Uh, some players can enjoy it. Uh, I, I don't enjoy it when I'm a player, so I don't want meta knowledge. Uh, so for me, it's really important for the GM to time it, to have the main character hit the gate in game, come back to the main, and then the main character learns what happened in the gate and game, right? So anytime you're going to have an NPC give a long speech about something interesting, that's a great chance. You know, anytime that uh, someone's going to come in and say, let me tell you, brother, 
about what happened out to the west of here and the terrors. And then, boom, you switch and you throw them a new character sheet. You say, I'm not going to monologue. We're going to explore what happened out to the west in the moors with the werewolves howling at the moon. So the game game is a great tool. We've used it, uh, like I said, twice for the vampires in the north. We're going to use it once for the dwarfs in the south and the orcs. Um, and that's about all i got to say about that. But let me know if you've seen it, if you've seen it done well or poorly, if it's a good idea, if it's a bad idea. Have I missed anything? Leave that in the comments below. And until then, good day and good game.